today we will start with the new topic that is capillarity now this capillarity is nothing but rise and fall of liquid or the mercury in a small diameter cube so we will write it as a rise or fall of liquid in small diameter cube if we are considering rise means that is the example of liquid only and if we consider fall means that is example of mercury only that means if we start with the liquid for liquid means rise that means if we say take an example like there is a container this is container and in that container suppose a water is there so this one is water if we insert a tube of small diameter like this this water automatically rise up to certain point or we may say by certain height suppose h now why this happen this happens because of capillarity this water get into the tube automatically because of capillary action now actually what is capillary action see in this case so many factors are working if we see the water surface at the height h now surface tension is acting at the water surface and that we are denoting it by sigma this is surface tension now how the water rises in the tube that will see if you take the now where the surface tension is acting or surface tension is always acting on circumference surface tension is acting on circumference okay and that is the surface tension is going to balance this much of weight that is in the tube so weight of water we needed so is equal to weight of water in tube and that is suppose capital w now if we see surface tension we need the vertical component of the surface tension because the surface tension is making an angle theta with the vertical glass tube so vertical component will be like sigma cos theta because surface tension is making an angle theta multiplied by circumference means circumference of the glass tube that is in a circular shape so 2 pi r or we may write it as pi multiplied by d is equal to now weight of water in a tube that is raised water how we are going to calculate the weight w so that is having a formula specific weight w is equal to that is having a formula w is equal to rho g multiplied by volume so sigma cos theta multiplied by pi multiplied by d is equal to this rho that is the density of water and g is the acceleration due to gravity this is density of water multiplied by g 
and this volume volume means volume of water collected in a tube so how we are going to calculate the volume that is area of the tube multiplied by height rise so area of tube is pi by 4 multiplied by d square and multiplied by this is area and height is h so now we are having the equation so pi pi get cancelled d get cancelled the square is getting cancelled so we are having the formula h is equal to the score comes here 4 sigma cos theta divided by rho that is density of water multiplied by g multiplied by d so h is equal to 4 sigma cos theta divided by rho g into d now from this equation what we get that is when h increases h and d that is inversely proportional when h increases diameter of d decreases or we may say if diameter decreases h increases means if the diameter of the tube is small the height rise in a water always increases if we take an example of fluffing fluffing means see why we are fluffing the farms if we see the soil after that after the fluffing the soil will have the porous like this now in this voids or we may say pores this, these are the voids that may be heated and the voids form so from these voids the water because of the capillary action this water comes on the surface or the uh, below the surface of water that is stored that comes through these pores and uh, give the water to the uh, trees or plants so this is the basic reason why we are plucking because who made the voids and water comes from the uh, voids other technical question is that why the water rises in the wall because of the clay particles that is present in a wall in a small diameter the water rises because of this capillarity action and we get, we see that water is in a wall so that is the reason and the technical action